So before I get this podcast started, I just want to say how saddened I am that um, Ivana Trump has passed away at the age of 73. I still don't know what happened. I'm kind of still digesting everything. Um, I heard that she might have had a fall at her home in New York. Um, but it's just very sad, especially because I was talking about my own mom to you guys yesterday. And um, I just feel very, very sad. I always admired and respected Ivana Trump. She was a very productive woman. You know, she wrote books, she sold jewelry. Um, she was a mother, she was a wife. Uh, she appeared in movies, commercials. She she did business stuff. Um, I, you know, I always, always had respect and admiration for her. And she never hid the fact that she was a very materialistic woman. And I kind of liked that about her. She was very honest about how materialistic she was. Um, but she had a very personal charm about her as well that I really, really liked. And I'm very, very sad that Ivanka has lost her mother. I really am. Um, it's just very, very sad. And she lived a, a good long life. 73 is a good, a good age to live to. But I, you know, I just feel like this could have been avoided. Um, so I'm very saddened to hear that Ivana Trump is dead and may her beautiful soul rest in peace. We're going to make it, baby. We're going to make it. We're going to make it, baby. Frankie, you and me. <laughs> I'm just trying to lighten the mood of what could be a very somber episode. Well, it's not going to be somber. But since I put out my podcast video on the Crowd Justice Fund and, you know, how it has just stalled and just come to a grinding halt. Um, as a matter of fact, Team Phoenix, a channel that I really, you know, have always respected. I think he changed his name, his channel name at some point to Criminal Minds and then changed it back to Team Phoenix. Team Phoenix is a channel that I really respected because he was more about honesty and sticking to the facts. Unfortunately, that doesn't get you um, the praise sometimes. But, um, you know, after I put my video out on the Crowd Justice Fund, he put a video out kind of echoing my own, you know, sentiments about the Crowd Justice Fund, you know, how it's stalled, how people seem to have lost faith, um, people are no longer giving their money. And also since then, I've had a lot of people come to me um, to voice, you know, their feelings and their confusion as to as to what happened with Claire Morgan. Now, I'm not trying to do this to embarrass or humiliate anybody. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm trying to find out kind of the why and what happened. Um, because there are a lot of people who want to know why um, those strikes on AD's channel didn't work. There's a lot of people who are disgruntled, um, you know, who did give their money and, you know, in hopes that, you know, AD would be gone or or not even just giving them money. Some people have told me that they spent time live streaming um, and, you know, doing lots of things and, you know, to help um, get AD's channel down. And, you know, a lot of disgruntled people have come to me and said, look, you know, I took time out of my life. Um, and my day and my whatever to help um, get that channel down. I paid money or I took part in live streams and they feel, a lot of them, that they didn't get a proper explanation from Claire Morgan. Now, I've been, um, how would I say, come at from all sides, from all areas, you know, people on um, one side of the aisle have come at me for speaking out. I noticed that Team Phoenix doesn't seem to have gotten the wrath that I've gotten. Uh, you know, I guess it's one rule for him and a different rule for for me. Um, and also people have said, oh, on the other side, on the What's Fans Club side, that's what I call them, What's Fans or Sympathizers, you know, Simcast is catching on. I hope people know that Simcast is not my name. And I actually, I accidentally said what my name was in a podcast that I did a few podcasts back. And I was like, oh no. And I'd already recorded it and I had to upload it. Simcast is my channel name. 
Sim is one of my nicknames. What I did is I mixed my real name with podcast. But Simcast is actually not my name. I just wanted to let you know that. But I've been come at in all directions for speaking out um, and particularly on like the, sh- the shiner side, which is a name that I hate and the name that I'm labeled and I'm not, I'm not a shiner. Um, you know, people call me a shiner on, from the what side. Um, you know, a lot of people don't like that I'm speaking out. And, and then on the what side, when I talk about this, they're like, Simcast is catching on. And like I said, my name isn't Simcast. No, I've been wondering about this for a long time. I've been wondering what happened. I've been asking questions and felt that I wasn't getting answers. Let me just read um, something that somebody has sent me. And two, I got two letters from this kind of, dis- oh my God, this is like a, I've been, I'm, it's like, like a book that people are, are writing me about this. Um, okay, let me just read the first one. Personally, I didn't want thanks or recognition. All I wanted was the truth, which really comes hard for some people. Uh, Don't be calling people liars when we've got Claire Morgan. She's still not come out with an explanation. She just hides behind the family and a few other creators that, that can't pull their heads out of the sand. The GoFundMe has stopped. I gave without expecting anything in return. Only Claire all comes back around to see to that liar. What a mess she left. Ooh, shame on you, Claire Morgan, and those supporting her. I'm done with this. Give people an explanation what went on, Claire. Then again, maybe Mr... Glass half empty, Dehan can do it. <laughs> so this is just one of the type of messages that I've gotten. And I've got another message from the same person. That, and the, 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 the comment goes on for an absolute eternity. Uh-uh-uh. Cohen Davis verified Claire Morgan as a person, not a lawyer. What lawyer or ex-lawyer would go around showing her friends, also random people on YouTube, sensitive private information that was for Cohen Davis, solicitors and Frankie? Only so God knows who else she showed it to. I know of another three people, subs, not creators, not that it makes a difference. It was irresponsible that someone looking for recognition it showed the crowd justice recites private messages and voicemails. Outback Outlaw had to come on alive to clear this up, which we are all grateful for. Claire disappeared only to show up on his channel. You'd be surprised to know the people that were looking for her. Everyone, including the R family. Oh, God. I, I'm reading this for the first time. I haven't pre-read this. I pre-read the other one, but I haven't pre-read this. Um... Depositions were seemingly given one and a half years ago by a couple of people. If you look at the salty B-I-T-C-H's video, she explains it a lot better than me. So much lies, deceit. At this point, when Martin kindly made his video about yourself and put my name in it, he did say on the previous video he was going to pick a couple of people who couldn't defend themselves. Well, I know you can and sure as Marty, I can too. (laughs) He cherry picks his victims. I see my name again saying I'm entitled. I return the favor in kind. I don't disappear when things go wrong, but Martin, he does. As you can tell, I'm a tad annoyed at him. Jumping up for so long because Helen had his ear in defense of Claire Morgan. What did change Martin's mind? He did apologize to Claire, stating he didn't understand what was really going on as he listened to people, but now understands and is sorry, along with a emoji. How very sad, but sneaky played. As I said, I'm done holding my tongue. You want to know anything about Claire Morgan and she and the BS she pulled? Ask. Excuse the rant, but I'll never forget what she did. She was the catalyst for the majority of this. 
which leads me to a live that was done with Preach Queen and Outback. And let me just say, I like the partnership between Preach Queen and Outback, regardless of our differences of opinions or any disagreements any of us might ever have ever had. I do like the lives between Preach Queen and Outback. And Claire is on this live. I've got a nine minute live of Claire and Outback and Preach Queen where Claire says that she was registered with an intellectual property office and that she did 27 strikes on AD's channel. And she said that she was a lawyer qualified with her maiden name so she wouldn't be found as a lawyer under her married name, Morgan. Now, this is important because in my recent exchanges with Frankie, and I've had quite a few recent exchanges with Frankie, which, which have been quite heated, for a few reasons. Um, he said that him and his family did the strikes and that YouTube um, didn't respond and he still doesn't know, you know what happened. So Claire Morgan is saying that she did the strikes and Frankie said that him and his family did the strikes. So I don't know, you know, where the truth lies between those stories um, or whether Claire is taking responsibility or he and his family is taking responsibility. And it just didn't work out. But, you know, Claire said she was a lawyer and that she qualified before she got married with her maiden name. And she said she did 27 strikes on AD's channel and she was registered with her intellectual property office. So, uh, and I have this live, you know, I have everything. I mean, I could play it if I wanted to. Um, I don't want to do that. Um, I think my word should just be enough. But if there's ever proof needed, I have it on tape where Claire actually says that. So, and she has a Welsh accent. My name's Claire, I'm from Wales. That's kind of how she talks. Um, and I'm gonna read you something before I close this, if I can find it. You know, I don't think I can find it. I'm not gonna find it in time. Because I've had a lot of people come forward and tell me these stories that they helped out, that they were counting down and when the strikes fell off, they just became, you know, they, a lot of people feel they still don't have an explanation as to what happened. Right, so let me just read this uh, from Van Life, and I'm not going to read all of it. This is my opinion. A lot of people, including me, invested a lot of time and money into this fund. I only donated my time by hosting the Live Nation Liveathon and countless hours of searching for information to give to lawyers. To give to the lawyers. Having done all this, then not be given an explanation as to why the strikes fell off AD's channel is a big problem for a lot of people. Everyone was very vocal, doing lives, commenting everywhere counting down to the channel going down then boom nothing tumbleweed i gave up at that point and this is a very 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 long letter that i'm not going to read the whole thing but i've had numerous people come forward to me and tell me these stories um and it seems like we'll never ever get an explanation from her claire morgan 